Ice cream? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, a little bit. I have a little bit. That's good. Uh, I'm good. A little, have a little nibble. A little bit. No, I'm not. Okay. Right. All right. Fine. Appreciate it, y'all. No problem. Welcome to Hey EW. I am RJ City, and my guest is Keith Lee. Hey. Hey. Good. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. You were once a parking lot attendant at an amusement park. How did that shape you as a man? Uh, it made me a lot darker. Mm -hmm. It was a summer job. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Turned about eight shades darker. Do you still remember your pointing or your waving in? Do you use that at all in your No, no? I just answered questions for people okay. who got lost. All right. You played football for Texas A&M. Yes. Yes. Uh, they said you were good enough to go pro, if I may. But, but you quickly became a wrestler. So my question is, why leave a profession where you could hit men while being cheered by thousands of people only to completely change gears and join a profession where you could hit men and be cheered by thousands of people? Uh, I think that a lot of it has to do with my grandmother. Uh, yes. Yeah, she has uh, had a very healthy love for the sport and that's something that inspired me. You don't have to wear the helmet either. Well, yeah, it's also a one-man sport as opposed yeah. to a depending on ten other people. Sure, sure. You don't like being in stables? You're not that kind of guy? You're not a faction guy? Uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of a loner. Yeah, I understand. You started your wrestling career as Kevin Payne. Tell me about Kevin, and my, here's my question. Why change your name to Keith Lee when your real name's Kevin Payne? Uh, well, th the reason that I changed my name to Keith Lee is because Keith Lee is actually my real name. Oh. Kevin Payne was developed by some people in a class that I was training. It is cool, though. You could have been like, hey, here comes Kevin. Would have been, would have, could you, could you give it's me a little, safe. give me a little Kevin Payne right now. Let me see Kevin Payne. Oh, that's it? The old Kevin Payne face? No? There's no Kevin it's, Payne? No, it doesn't exist anymore. Oh. That guy stopped in like 08. Well, that's a shame. No, it's no? a good thing. All right, yeah. okay. Have you ever thought about changing your name or your gear again? No. Oh, okay, fair enough. Why the hood on your entrance gear? Got no sleeves there, but then it gets a little chilly. My grandmother, when she goes to a restaurant, she says, the air conditioning is blowing right on the back of my neck. Do you feel the same way? No, that's not the case. I like hoods because I enjoy wearing them when I train as well. Oh, okay, yes. fun. Let's talk about your voice. A lot of people talk about your voice. A lot of people listen to your voice. People are nutty about your voice. You I <laughs> close my eyes and I think this guy is hosting a, a late night relationship advice show in 1974. It's, it's almost one of those things where it's like the level of it, the tone of it is almost implicitly sensual. Like, you can't not be sensual in a sense. Sensual? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Sensual? Absolutely. Like, do you go to the mechanics and he starts getting turned on when you tell him what's wrong with the car? Because he's like, this voice is fantastic. What's the question about my voice? Let's, let's well, how do you feel about it? What, it doesn't, I mean, it's my voice. I don't, I don't have a feeling one way or the other. This is just who I am. Right. Well, so this is my next question. You've sung your own songs in the past. Your theme songs. Yeah. You've chosen not to do so for AW. Some people are disappointed. Do you think you'll ever feature on a remix of it and stand in the background and say, that's my name or something? N no, that wouldn't be the way I would do it. I, I like Mr. Ruckus's work personally, but while that was an option, I wanted to do something a little different, I think, this time. And, the times that I've done themes, those are actually the only times in my life that I've rapped. So yes. it's a little weird and, and I can't have a sing song mm -hmm. for an entrance music because that would be less inspiring, I think. Right. Well, you could do maybe a little like a Pavarotti kind of thing. You change gears. Maybe bring back the Kevin Payne, do like a little opera thing. Something to think about. No. Ice cream? Also, no. Just didn't wonder if you changed your mind. No. Do you think that the nickname Limitless is irresponsible? I feel like you're encouraging people to speed. To, <laughs> to speed? It's a little reckless. I have no so, limits either, and then all of a sudden In what? every scenario yeah. where I have defined the term limitless, mm -hmm. whether it be in terms of work, yeah. or training, or goals yeah. in life, never have I once ever mentioned 
driving a car. Well, you can't tell me you're not driving down the Pacific Coastal Highway and you see uh, 120 and you go, that doesn't apply to me. Uh, Yeah, I can tell you that that's never been a thing. You abide by the laws of the road. Generally, I think that we all should. It's a good thing to clarify. So let's, let's show everyone that you do have some limits. Let's set some limits here. I'm gonna throw out some questions. You give me a limit. How many cheese drinks do you think you could eat in one sitting? You have 30 minutes to eat cheese drinks. How many do you think you could have before you say, that's enough? I've never done such a thing, so I really have no idea. It's a healthy limit. You abstain from it. That's good. I think it's very encouraging. Uh, How many episodes have you watched of the sitcom Wings? What? Wings, Stephen Weber, Tony Shalhoub, Thomas Hayden Church. That's not an anime. An anime is what I watch. Well, I think you can increase your limit on that. It's really, really an excellent show. You do a lot of puns with your name. You'll, on Twitter, you'll add Lee to the end of things. I've seen it. It's almost like you're the walking adverb. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's do a little word association with Lee words, okay? I'm I will kinda express, terrified, actually. I will express how I feel with a Lee word, and you can answer with a Lee word, and then we can volley back and forth. Ooh, that does, that, that I don't know, you make this kind of weird. You, maybe. maybe. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's, okay. Adamantly. Fervently. Oh. I wrote some down. Accusingly. Adamantly. (laughs) Motionlessly. Emotionally. Very good. Mm. See, that worked out well. I think that was fun. Okay. Now, online, and by online I mean the internet, there have been some rumors swirling about you and I think it's, it's important now that we take the time to address them head on. So I'm gonna throw them out there and you can either confirm or deny, okay? Rumors? Yeah, rumors. I've, they're, oh, they are plastered all over online. Relevant to me? About you, specifically oh. about you. So I think it's important that we address them, okay? I don't, I don't keep up with the internet like that, so this should be interesting. Okay, confirm or deny. You look like a guy who says, mmm, mushrooms. The confirm. You look like a guy who's had a pleasant conversation with a senior citizen at a bus stop. (laughs) Confirmed. You look like a guy who uses the audio guided tour at a museum. Confirmed. Oh my god. (laughs) I've only done it a couple times, okay? You look like a guy who's developed a bond with a horse. Confirmed. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) You look like a guy who claims not to be a fan of Lou Rawls, but can name his entire discography. Deny. Ah, I got you on the we Lou Rawls. One. We got one. Oh my God. You look like a guy who values a comfortable walking shoe. Uh, don't all humans confirm, yeah. I guess? Okay, good. It's good to have arch support. I didn't say it's a bad thing. They're just rumors. Uh, it's just a strange one. You look like a guy who enjoyed the back half of Steve Martin's film career. <laughs> Uh, confirm, I guess. Wow, this is gonna be, whew, this is gonna be. You look like a guy who uses a hat rack. Confirm. You have one, you take that off and you go. We have a few. <laughs> How many hats do you have? You have, I, you have hat I have quite a set because I like different hats to train in. Uh, this is my extremely worn travel hat. Yeah. But then also Mia has like an abundance of hats right. that she just sits on. So, so they you have just a sit set there. of hat racks. Like three. That's a lot. That, that is, is a lot. lot. That is Set a, a limit on your hat racks. No, my hats are also limitless. You look like a guy. <laughs> you look like a guy who puts a question mark at the end of their Google searches. <laughs> uh, occasionally, occasionally. Because they Google needs to know that it's a question. They you know, know. You're, you're communicating I mean, well. You look like a guy who knows how to properly dress in layers when it's chilly outside. Uh, Catch a breeze, put on your scarf. Circumstantial. Yeah, well, that's why you have that hood on your entrance. Yeah, occasionally, yeah. Well, I want to thank you for coming here and being emotionally bare, but yet as cool as a cat. I do my best. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Have a bet. That that looks like brain freeze. Just have one. Uh, I'm going to stick with this. Good luck.